Hi everyone. So today um, we're gonna make another dish, and because there's nothing else for us to do than post stuff on Facebook and YouTube. So here we go. We're going to do lentils today. It's very, very, very simple. It's, we're gonna use dried lentils. You can use any dried lentils, um, but it'd be a, about a cup of dried lentils. I already washed them because you always want to rinse these before you use them. And we're gonna use some tomato sauce. Um, we're gonna use some. We're gonna dice some uh, some celery, carrots, um, garlic, and this is um, the shallot. And then we're going to add in some um, bay leaves. These carrots on the side, I usually try to put some chunky carrots in at the end. And these don't really look like sad carrots because, like I said, the grocery store doesn't have any carrots right now. I'm um, really running low on vegetables. We're also going to add some red wine and some olive oil and salt and pepper. So I'm going to start um, mincing all of these, the shallot, the garlic, and the, the carrot and um, celery. And then once that's all chopped up, then we'll uh, talk about um, how we cook this. Um, one last thing I wanted to mention. Here we have from the other day that I made the vegetable broth. And I have that simmering a little bit because that's what's going to be used for the liquid for the lentils. So um, we'll see how it turns out at the very end. Okay, so we're going to start cutting up and chopping um, the vegetables. So I made, I kept a few pieces of carrot to make some larger chunks that will go in. Um, and so we can have some other consistency in the lentil other than just the lentils. So we'll use a shallot here. Be careful with the knife. And we'll put this to compost. And we'll Watch off your fingers, of course. That's it. Let's move this to the side. And the celery as well. These are small dices right now, but we're gonna uh, actually chop them finer. Of course, you can use a food processor. I'm doing it and I do have one. Um, there's a small food processor that I have and I have a larger one, but just so people can see, you know, what this sort of looks like. And we're just going down this road. Some people take off the stem or the root. I do, just because I don't think they look pretty. And again, just be very careful. You don't have to rush. You go rushing, you're gonna lose a finger. Now what we do is we're going to chop this finely. So let me just get rid of this right here. And then we can move the carrots. Actually, I put them right in here for now since the carrots have been washed and the lentils have been washed. And they'll go in at the same time anyway, so pretty much the same time. So we hold this aside. Now this is... 
where you have to be careful. It's a lot here, but you know, we can, we'll see how it goes. This is old school, old, the old way of doing it, but some people, like I said, don't have food processors, so we'll just do what we can. Okay, so as I finish chopping everything by hand, as you can see here, it's very finely chopped. It's sort of a mirepoix, which is, you know, the carrots, celery, and some onion in here. These onion, these, um, sorry, carrots are the larger ones I did earlier that will go in sort of towards maybe the middle to the end of, of making the lentils, so we can have some, a little bit of different texture with the lentils. So now I have some olive oil heating up in the pan. It's probably hot now. So we're going to take this and we're just going to add it to the oil. It's about a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And these will reduce down, of course, because they're cut very low. So we'll just cook them medium high heat. Not to burn them. It looks like a lot, but it gives you a lot of flavor. It always smells nice, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wish you folks could smell the, the fume on this. Literally. Now I'm going mm -hmm. to mix it a little bit. This would probably be a good time also just to take the bay leaves that you have. These come out literally at the end when you finish cooking and just let it get a little heat through it and you can start giving its fragrance to other things. Okay, so we've been cooking this down for the past, what, three or four minutes. Uh, medium uh, heat, um, so it's very nice and full of aroma. So what we'll do next is we'll take the most important part, which is the lentils. This is a cup of the lentils. It's dry, but already washed. So let's put that in here. Okay. And we'll take a little bit more olive oil, just because all of this good stuff. And a little bit of olive oil. We'll raise the heat a little bit. And now what we're doing is just kind of, you know, heating up the lentils. We're toasting them. Just for a minute or so. You don't want it to stick at the bottom because the bottom of the top is quite hot. Okay, so now we're pretty much done. We're going to put some wine in here now. Smells yummy. By the way, what type of wine was that? This is a um, one that we had in, in Spain um, a few times. Um, it's a very inexpensive wine. I think it paid, I think, you know, 12 or $13 for the bottle. But um, but it's from Spain, and we saw at one of the top of restaurants that we went to. Tempranillo. But it's, it's actually a very, very good wine. Inexpensive. Of course, you can go with much more expensive wines, but it's all on taste. I had some expensive wines that taste really bad, and had some cheap wines, not like you know pharmacy brand wines. Those are not good. Those aren't even wines. Anyways, so we're cooking this down. So now we added the wine. We have to actually add salt and pepper because we haven't done that yet. So let's just add some salt. It's about. Uh, half a teaspoon, possibly, and we'll add some pepper. Mix a little bit again. Mm. Now you can smell the pepper. Yeah. We'll 
going to add a little bit of the tomato sauce that I mentioned earlier. And this you was can, pretty you can much use any other brand, right? Or... You can use any other brand, yeah. Um, but like here, there's hardly any sodium, as you can see, no sodium. Mm -hmm. So most tomato sauces don't have it, but we'll mix this a little bit. And then we don't want to waste, right? Because the whole idea is that, you know, it's not good to waste food. So what we'll do, especially what's going on now, so we'll fill up a little bit with water. And then we'll just rinse out the rest of the package. Here. And we'll add it to the lentils. See how much is yeah. still in there? So we just use... No wasting. No wasting. Okay, so now it looks really good, but this is one last part left to this. It's going to be... Well, we can add the carrots now. These chunkier carrots, we can add those in now. And like I said, the bay leaves we'll take out at the end. Just, just remember how many you put in. I put in three because I didn't have larger ones. So I'll reduce the heat a little bit. And what we'll do now is that chicken broth that we made the other day, um, we're going to be using that as our um, broth. So what we'll do is, as you can see, we're just probably going to go up to about an inch of water. We'll see how it goes, because um, you might want to add more eventually. It depends on, on your consistency, how well you want your lentils done. So basically, I have one, two, this is a third ladle, four, five, Six, seven. All right, so we have the seven meals. I'll do seven, eight. We have a little bit, nine. So we it's about 10 ladles of broth. And if you run out of broth, use water. Or if you don't have broth at all, use water. I mean, it's one or the other. But anyways, we're at a good place. So it looks like a lot of liquid, but there is a cup of lentils. And lentils is going to absorb that liquid and liquid is going to reduce down. So we'll just mix it. Since we added the, the broth with no salt, we added the, the um, tomato sauce with no salt, we'll add a little bit more salt. That's about fine. I'm not gonna add any more pepper because I added, I think, enough from Byron's description. So. Uh, we'll just leave it this way. So we'll raise the heat up a little bit, back to like medium high heat, but what we'll do is we'll cover it. This is important. So we'll cover it. And then as it starts, you know, right when it gets maybe to a boiling point or whatever, we'll reduce down to a simmer. It's okay to occasionally go back in and mix the lentils because the last thing you want is the lentils to stick at the bottom of the pan when it's cooking and then you get burned lentils at the bottom. So just keep an eye on it. Um, you know, I don't have to baby it, but just take a look. And if you feel like you have too much water um, as the process goes by, just leave the, leave the coverage can offset a little bit and the steam can evaporate even more. Okay, so we'll take a look in a few minutes and see how this is doing. Okay, we're gonna check how our lentils are doing. It's a nice, vigorous uh, simmer here. So, you know, we'll let it go. Maybe I'll raise it a little bit more, um, but I have it offset. Um, because I use an induction cooktop and some people use gas and sometimes the problem with induction is that if the cover stays on, it gets, um, you know, the boil turns up higher than gas, which sometimes you can um, modify the temperature. Anyways, as this is um, cooking down, we're going to make rice. Nothing goes better with lentils than rice, in my opinion. So we're going to make a little bit of rice. It's very simple. So by the time I'm probably, the rest is probably done before the lentils are. But anyways, we're going to make about um, a, a cup and a half of 
of rice, and I'm using just jasmine rice. You can use whatever rice you want. Everybody has their own recipe, I guess, but um, but since this is not instant rice, it's just good to know that you have to wash your rice and your greens before you use them, just like you did with the lentils. So here's one cup. I'm gonna do about a cup and a half, um, not necessarily two cups. About a cup and a half, it's about a little more than a half, but anyways, we'll say it's about a cup and a half. And then what we'll do next is we'll rinse it with cold water. Okay. three cups of water. So every cup of rice is an equivalent to two cups of water. Here I'm using one and a half cups of this, three cups of water. So we'll just use filtered water that we always use here. No stock this time. One, two, and three. Perfect. And then we'll add a little salt, of course, about about half a tablespoon. Okay. We have white pepper. Most people don't have that, some people do, but we use that because it's white and you don't want to crush black pepper in there. So we'll just add a little bit. And then, of course, the olive oil. So we'll add olive oil. I have a little bit left in here, so we'll just use this, about this amount. About half a tablespoon. And then what we'll do is that we'll stir it for a minute. Okay. Incorporate all of that in the rice. And now we'll turn it on. And what we'll do is we'll set it up to high first. And then once it starts bubbling or boiling, reduce it down to a gentle simmer and cover it. Um, well, you can cover it now, actually. I'm sorry. So we put that in here. We'll let this get to a boil. And then we'll reduce down to a very gentle simmer for about... Until you can see no more water when the water evaporates. But don't... Try not to lift the lid um, because it does affect the rice because it's, you're letting out all the steam. And now we're watching the lentils. And see what I mean? I raise it a little bit. It's, you know, getting hotter here. So... I'll let it cook like this, actually, with the cover offset. It looks a little vigorous, but that's fine. We want the water to evaporate and cook. The liquid to evaporate and cook the lentils. And we'll take a look. In if okay, so now, as you can see what's happening here, with rice in particular, if you don't watch it, it will boil over the sides. So what we'll do here is we'll reduce down the heat to a very, very gen gentle simmer. Because it could bubble up again, even though it's at a really low level just because you're having heat produced inside. I would say though that um, here, when I said you leave it covered while it gets to a boil, I did it because I have a glass top. Most people don't, um, or some people do, but it allow me to see what's going on inside. Um, of course, if you don't have a glass top, just leave it uncovered until it gets to a boil, reduce the heat down to a very gentle simmer, and then uh, cover it. Okay, so we've been about 40 minutes into cooking the lentils. So let's see how it's looking. So you see it's getting a little bit thicker. And we'll mix it. You see that? It's just getting a lot thicker now. So, and it's not sticking to the bottom, which is good. And we'll just let it cook like this. And um, I might just leave it further uncovered because more of the steam is evaporating. As I mentioned about the rice, not bad, right? I shouldn't have lifted the lid, but I'm lifting it to show you. So the rice is about done, and that took about no more than 10 minutes. So we're almost ready to eat. Okay, so we're gonna take a look. We're at 15 minutes into making this. Now, as you can see from when I first put it in, we're already reduced substantially here. 
So let's mix it and see how it's looking. Now it's pretty thick. It's almost done. So at this point, what I would just recommend is leaving the cover off and just keeping it at, you know, a, a, a light medium heat, small simmer, um, probably for another 10, 15 minutes, and it should be ready to go. And the rice is done. So what I ended up doing was it was done, and I fluff up the rice, and it's just sitting here covered. Okay. Okay, so I think our lentils are done, as you can see. Um, it's thicked up quite a bit, and um, as you can see, they're, some of them have dissolved. I don't mind that because I do like soft lentils, not hard lentils. So what I'll do now is I'll turn it off. And you might say, well, it still looks kind of soupy. Well, you know, you can have lentil stew if you want, but uh, we made rice on the side. So we'll let this cool down for a little bit. This will thicken up um, um, after a couple of hours if, if you wait, especially overnight if you put it in the refrigerator after it cools down. Um, I would definitely fish out, though, the... I put in the three bay leaves, so um, I'll do that um, here now, and then, again, let it cool down, and then we'll serve it. Okay, so we're done. Now it's time to serve. So we're going to do a little bit of the rice here. Came out nice, I think. Fine. And then we'll do the lentils. As you can see, they pretty much thickened up a little bit here. Still hot, but... And the carrots are still there. They're soft, of course, but they're not disintegrated. Um, and that's it. Mm. Enjoy, Enjoy. everyone.